and they hypothesize a simulated global outbreak required steps, various phases, overall timelines and expected outcomes. And this was uh, posited in the Rockefeller Lockstep 2010. Create a very contagious but super low mortality rate virus to fit the needed plan using SARS, HIV, hybrid research strain created at Fort Detrick Class 4 lab from 2008 to 2013 as part of a research program to find out why coronaviruses spread like wildfire in bats but have an extremely hard time infecting humans. To counteract that, they added four HIV inserts into the virus. And the missing key to infect the human is the ACE2 receptor. Create a weaponized version of the virus with a much higher mortality rate as a backup plan, ready to be released in phase three, but only if needed. SARS, HIV and MERS weaponized tribid strain created at Fort Detrick Class 4 lab in 2015. Transport the research strain to a different Class 4 lab, the National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg, Canada, and have it, quote, stolen and smuggled out by China, uh, Xi Zheng Li, on purpose and taken to China's only Class 4 lab, which is Wuhan Institute of Virology in Wuhan, China. For added plausible deniability and to help cement the wanted backup, public script as something to fall back on if needed. The primary script being its natural backup script being that China created it and released it by accident. Fund all the talking heads, Fauci, Berks, Ted Ross, and agencies, World Health Organization, NIAID, the CDC, and also the UN, that would be involved with pandemic response prior to the planned release of the research strain to control the wanted script throughout the operation. Create and fund the vaccination development and rollout plan so it's capable of being rolled out on a global scale. Gates, a decade of vaccines and the Global Action Vaccine Action Plan, which is 2010 to 2020. Create and fund the vaccination verification and certification protocols, digital ID, to enforce, confirm the vaccination program after the mandatory roll out is enacted. Gates ID 2020. Simulate the lockstep hypothesis just prior to the planned research strain release using a real world exercise as a final war game to determine expected response, timelines and outcomes. This was formulated in the event 201 in October 2019. Release the research strain at the Wuhan Institute of Virology itself and then blame its release on a natural scapegoat as the wanted primary script, which was the Wuhan wet market. November 2019. Exactly the same as the simulation. Downplay the human-to-human transmission for as long as possible to allow the research strain to spread on a global scale before any country can lock down respond to avoid initial infection. Once a country has seed infection in place, lock down incoming, outgoing travel but keep the transmission within the country spreading for as long as possible. Once enough people in a country region are infected, enact forced quarantines, isolation for that area 
and expand the lockdown region slowly over time. Overhype the mortality rate by tying the research strain to deaths that have little to nothing to do with the actual virus to keep the fear and compliance at a maximum. If anyone dies for any reason and has found they have COVID, consider it a COVID death. And if anyone's thought to of maybe had symptoms of COVID, to assume they have COVID and consider it as a COVID death. Keep the public quarantined for as long as possible to destroy the region's economy, create civil unrest, break down the supply chain and cause the start of mass food shortages as well as cause people's immune system to weaken due to a lack of interaction with other people's bacteria. The outside world act of the things that keep our immune system alert and active. Downplay and attack any potential treatments and continue to echo that the only cure that is viable to fight this virus is the vaccine. Continue to drag out the quarantine over and over again in, quote, two-week intervals, unquote. There's that two weeks spell casting again. It is a CIA program. Causing more and more people to eventually stand up and protest, defy them. And here's the key part to now. Eventually end phase one quarantine once they get enough public pushback. Expected June 2020. And publicly state that they think it's quote, too early to end the isolation, but are going to do it anyways. Once the public go back to normal, wait a few weeks, then continue to overhype the research strain mortality rate. This will be August to September 2020. And combine it with the increase in deaths due to people dying from standard illnesses at a higher rate than normal due to having highly weakened immune systems from months of being in isolation, which backs up what I said. We should social distance people who wear masks regularly. That's what they've just told you. They're going to have highly weakened immune systems for months. To help further pad the mortality rate and also hype the up-and-coming Phase 2 lockdown. Eventually enact Phase 2 quarantines, October through November 2020. Are you connecting the dots now? On an even more extreme level, and blame the protesters, mostly people who don't trust their governments already, as the cause for the larger second wave, whereby the media will say, we told you so, it was too early, it's all your own fault because you needed a haircut, your freedoms have consequences. Should this all unfold in this manner, the US election will be cancelled, delayed or suspended. My opinion. How can you vote with phase two quarantines? You can't. Enforce the phase two quarantines at a much more extreme level, increasing the penalty for defiance. Replace fines with jail time. Deem all travel as non-essential. Increase checkpoints, including military assistance. Increase tracking, tracing of the population via mandatory apps. Take over control of food, gas, and create large-scale shortages so that people can only get access to essential products or services if they are first given permission. Keep the Phase 2 lockdown in place for a much longer period of time than the Phase 1 lockdown, continuing to destroy the global economy, further degrade the supply chain 
and further amplify the food shortages and the like. Quell any public outrage using extreme actions or force and make anyone who defies them appear as public enemy number one to those who are willing to submit. After a rather long phase two lockdown of six months plus, roll out the vaccination program and the vaccine certification and make it mandatory for everyone given priority access to those that submitted from the start and have those that are for it attack those that are against it saying they are a threat and the cause of all the problems by using words like we can't go back to normal until everyone takes the vaccine and people define them are hurting our way of life and therefore are the enemy. In other words, they're going to turn the people against each other. If the majority of people go along with the agenda, then let those people enter the new system, the new normal, while limiting the minority that defied the agenda's ability to work, travel and live. If the majority of people go against the agenda, then release the weaponized SARS, HIV, MERS, Tribid strain as a phase 3 operation. A virus with a 30 plus percent mortality rate as a final scare to punish the minority to quickly become the majority and give a final we told you so to those that didn't listen. Enact the new economy model. Microsoft Patent 060606 Cryptocurrency system using body activity data which is based on human behaviour and willingness to submit. It is a tweaked version of the Black Mirror's 15 million merits program using food water, shelter and other essentials as a weapon of enforcement of the new economic system. Basically do what we want and get rewarded. Gain credits, score and gain more access to things you need to survive. Or go against what we want and get penalised, lose credits, score and lose access to things you need to survive. And that is your new world, world order technology on steroids where you have no option but to comply and if anyone thinks that this isn't true then go and check out some parts of China because they've already started some of the cryptocurrencies currency system in place in certain areas so this is the their outline of their plans and what we have to stop by outing it in as many places as possible and also calling out Q and Trump and asking them are you going to stop this mass arrests are irrelevant this is essential and this has to be blocked